most of the people in the country are going to the Trump rally right now because he's listening to them. No one's asking about this stuff. I'm just frustrated. I hope you understand why I'm getting tired of it. You're doing your jobs, but you're not asking the questions that Americans give a shit about. Yeah, they're not asking the right questions. That was Democratic presidential candidate Dean Phillips laying into the media for ignoring Americans' concerns and Trump voters. Later, Phillips took a shot at his fellow Democrats. Watch. I got to tell you guys, I went to a Donald Trump rally a couple nights ago. Never been to one. Uh, I had an event across the street. I saw the line of people waiting in the cold for hours. And I thought, what the heck? You know, I'm going to be a leader who actually invites people, doesn't condemn them. Met probably 50 Trump people waiting in line. Every single one of them, thoughtful, hospitable, friendly. All of them so frustrated that they feel nobody's listening to them but Donald Trump. A diverse crowd, people who had never been to a Trump event before. My party is completely delusional. Tudor, truer words never spoken. And the only thing, the only qualifier to this is it makes me a little sad that, that he had to just talk directly to Trump voters to see, oh my gosh, they're just like us. Of course <laughs> they are. Because we are all Americans and we are all facing the same issues. And those guys are facing the singular issue of not being listened to except for by one candidate. But this, this message of MAGA extremist has painted an entire 75 million people as these crazy people, right? And, and Kaylee knows I used to be the person in line with all of those folks interviewing people. And he's exactly right. Diverse group, dedicated dedicated to the country, not just dedicated to Trump. That's what people think. These are people who are just love Trump. No, they love America. I've been when it's been below zero. I've been when it's been 100 degrees. They are dedicated because they feel like this country needs to be brought back. And that's what he saw. He saw genuinely loving people. And I love that he went out there and said that. And I think CNN was probably like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, we've been, we've been told the truth on. <laughs> and, and Kevin, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard, I think, to, um, to truly explain or to truly convey the amount of rejection that Americans feel. And in that rejection, to see every day and to have reinstated every day, reinforced that everyone else is better than you are. Let's take a walk down memory lane. This is just some of the examples of Democrats and the media repeatedly bashing Trump supporters and Republicans. Let's watch. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that, <laughs> that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are dumb. <laughs> you, you elitists with your geography and your maps and your spelling, <laughs> even though my your math and your reading. <laughs> Maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. You're gonna have rural people out there voting their craziness about the cult. We are worried about potential rise of fascism in this country. The leader who is trying to do that is part of that equation. Mm -hmm. But people wanting that Correct. is a yeah. much mm -hmm. bigger part mm -hmm. of that That's equation. Right. Trump and his MAGA supporters not only embrace political violence, but they laugh about it. How can there be any question about how these Americans feel when we see things like that? Well, listen, I, you know, I'm one of the Democrats on Fox News. I believe in communication and reaching out and engaging. And some of the most authentic conversations I've had with people are people who watch Fox, right, who, who are grateful to hear a different perspective. And I engage with those folks. I, I will never attack a, a voter for Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, whomever. I will gladly take on their policies, right, and fight every day against them. Uh, but I think, I, you know, I'm a Democrat that wants the biggest tent possible. I want to reach out to, to disaffected Trump voters, to independents. That's how we win again as Democrats, like we did in 2020, and not castigate anyone. I'm marrying a Republican next month, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it starts at home for me. And again, I think we've got to come back to that, because, Emily, to your point, we're Americans first. And to Tudor's point, when you, when you drown out you know, the other side, it, you risk losing yourself. Yeah, lucky you and lucky him. Amen. He's and a lucky Harris, guy. <laughs> as, as Kevin said, you know, it, frankly, that's sort of a minority opinion within that party and within the media. Oh. That's what we're being faced with every day, that avalanche. Well, first of all, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, Emily, it's interesting. It is a minority opinion, but it's changing a bit. And 
you know, maybe those 14 Democrats who joined the Republican-led resolution to condemn Biden's border crisis just last week, maybe they were part of that growing voice. Maybe Dean Phillips, who sat next to me yesterday and managed to scoop up 20 percent of the vote against a write-in of an incumbent president, maybe he's that, because what he told me was both sides need to recognize each other, he said, but his particular side needs to stop calling names and so on and so forth. And then we had Sununu come on later and call names. So, I mean, and so Dean Phillips is right about that. So maybe there's a, a crack of daylight somewhere for Democrats to stop seeing Republican voters as the enemy. But it's going to take some time. And in the meantime, what happens? You know, I mean, they could lose elections because maybe they're ostracizing other people. Black voters feel like they're being replaced by illegal immigrants right now, some of them in Chicago. Their resources are being drowned out by Biden's border policies. Yeah. And unfortunately, Kaylee, though, if there is daylight, it is being eclipsed by the continued vitriol coming out of the media and the left. Martin Gurry in the free press bashing Trump voters, saying the retreat from democracy is most evident in the visceral contempt for the voters. The implications are clear, clear not only Trump, but the nearly 75 million Americans who voted for him must be silenced and crushed, Kaylee. He writes, to save democracy, it must be modified by a possessive, our democracy, because only one side of the political divide has legitimacy, and that's published? Yeah, it, it, that is unbelievable. But the president of the United States, President Biden, feeds into it. If you think differently than him on COVID, it's Neanderthal thinking. You know, the vaccinated have a right to be angry at the unvaccinated. If you think differently than him on voting rights, you're compared to a segregationist. If you're MAGA, you're a clear and present danger. All those things happen. You know, I saw Congressman Dean Phillips in New Hampshire, and I went up to him and I said, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for saying what you said. And think about what he did. He came out of his event. He is a Democrat. He saw a Trump event going on. He didn't hop in a black car service and scurry away to, you know, do whatever with his campaign. He went into a Trump rally, not knowing if he would be welcome just to meet the voters and see what they're like, and then offered kind words. How much better would we be as a society if a Republican said, hey, I want to get to know a Biden voter, if a Biden voter said, hey, I want to get to know a Haley voter or I want to get to know a Trump voter, we could dispel of this divide and get back to the commonality we have as American citizens first. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.